What's up, everybody? Now we're upstairs, and I got a video camera. Hopefully, everything is working. And uh, thanks for that sub during the intro, Katie. I appreciate that. And uh, yes, I did have to stop by the bathroom on the way upstairs. So we're, we're we're all set. I've got my chat fixed. You can see that on the side now. But yeah, thanks for tuning into these live streams. It's kind of a uh, speedier way to get that monetization status. So, like, if you're familiar with live streams, like with Jen's channel, or even my other channel, like, uh, you know, no super chats or anything. And, uh, you know, if uh, if we turn that on, or, you know, get the monetization status and ads can start running, then it's like, this generates a little money and it's like, hey, I can maybe do this full time. Uh, that's the dream, right? 
But how's everybody doing? Everybody waving. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Just leaving a like or subscribing helps so much. Uh, I really appreciate everybody that's done that. So, uh, hey, beautiful flower. Hey, moon path. Hey, everybody else. Got 109 people in here. I think that's the most I've had. I don't get to the, I don't get the view, the gen views normally. <laughs> Let's see, Leslie. Greetings from sunny Spain. Oh, that's awesome. I've always wanted to check out Spain. I've had a, I had a, a coworker. He. He would go to Spain and Portugal pretty often. Spoke very, very highly of it. Oh, hey, Jen's in the chat. Tawny, Tawny L, Sunshine Dog, David, Honk Honk. Gorilla BFF. Oh, yeah, since we've got new people in here, give me one sec. Gorilla reminded me. Spirit Matter, thank you for the sub. Not quite a gorilla, so if you're not familiar with me, I do draw. It's not always silt. Well, this is still kind of silly. This is really old. I was trying to. I need to dig it out. I've got a uh, gorilla drawing somewhere that's silly, but I do have. Don't get it here. I have a drawing of a chimp <laughs> just chilling in my office. It was at my parents' house. I think I did this in high school, but it uh, made me laugh. So I kept it. Awesome. Moogle, first live with you and won't be the last. Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody that's uh, hopped on the stream. <laughs> Drawing of Megan. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Thanks for all the subs uh, right off the bat. Oh yeah, Jen's pointing at my t-shirt. I've had this shirt forever. It's the Milky Way, you get it? Let's see. <laughs> Leslie, I went to art school for six years and I think your drawings are great. Well, thank you, Leslie. You know, I, I came so close to going to art school. Like, my mom was an art teacher. I was like the art kid in school, kind of. Um, and I thought I would do it, but I wanted to do like comics or animation. So, you know, by the time I got around the college, like both of those were dying. <laughs> so, uh, you know, 2D at least. And picked a totally different career path. I'd still picked up an art degree, but that was, that's not like an art school degree. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is my mic. This one's calibrated for me. So hopefully it sounds correctly. Um, Jen and I have very different voices, so mine, mine's set up to pick up a deeper voice and not cut off. And Jen, you know, where she's got a higher voice, it's meant to like, you know, kind of, kind of keep it, keep the level down. So we've basically got two very opposite voices that do not play well with each other's mics. One second here. So yeah, everybody, I am multi-streaming. This is on Twitch at the moment, but uh, everybody's on YouTube. And that's cool because YouTube's what matters right now. <laughs> Let's see, Annalise Ars. I have all my shops. It's never too late. I have all my shops of graphic design. You can do it. Yeah, I mean, I still do it for fun. Oh, somebody, somebody saw my uh, liquid death. Yeah, so I kind of got this when it came out just because the commercials made me laugh. Um, so you can see the whole thing here. Like, it's, so this is the tea. They mainly make water. Um, well, not make water, but it's, uh, it's like canned water. I got it because it made me laugh, but it's actually really delicious. I don't know what they do with it, but the water tastes so good. And um, they started making teas. So, so this one originally it was called armless palmer so it's black tea and lemonade uh like sugar-free so it's pretty good and they actually got sued by the estate of arnold palmer so rather than fight it and spend all the money they changed the name to dead billionaire so that's the name of the flavor now so it's a company with a sense of humor so i 
I like their drinks. And they actually, I don't have, I don't have the box near me, but they, they have art, uh, like special art that they rotate around on the boxes. So that's kind of a little silly thing I like. Oh, thank you, Helen. Says that drawing is brill. And so, yeah, Jen's in the chat. This, uh, so this is my news channel. Let me, let me switch my view here while I talk. So this is the channel where I just do silly stuff and draw and talk. My video game channel, I'm rarely on screen. So yeah, this is from this is from uh last week. We had a a news story about a guy that stole a go-kart and evaded police until it ran out of gas. So it's uh basically Mario Kart themed. I hope my pencil's charged. I hadn't thought about that. Okay, I'm good. Uh, let me see. Since there's some new people in here, let me find everything. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's the drawing of Jen for everybody that's uh, curious what she looks like. That's totally real, totally accurate. So uh, yeah, Marcel. Yeah, no video games here. So the way I've been doing it, if you are in the video games, uh, I don't have time today, unfortunately. But I do this channel, Doctor Bad Vibes Speaks, and if I do video games, I do like we did earlier. I roll it over to my video game channel, and then I'll play like Street Fighter or Mario or whatever. And uh, and Twitch, I always stream these to Twitch as well. So. Um, Twitch is always going. So if 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 you want to see everything, check it out on Twitch. But uh, right now, where it's like you know, it's just news and drawing. It's you know, you can see it all on this channel. And and also like if you if you subscribe, if you're not into the the live streams all the time, I do cut out the highlights. So I have, you may have noticed on the channel like all of the news stories, uh, they get their own video. Uh, I trim them down a little bit so it's you know more concise and. Um, again, not harping on the monetization, but as that comes along and it makes it more, you know, justifiable with my time, I can, you know, make, uh, more edited, uh, non-live videos. There's a lot of art people in the chat. That's cool. Let's see, Jackie, uh, it's 11 here, so I gotta go now. Well, thanks for hanging out with us, Jackie. You have a good night. Let's see, Mackenzie, art kid here too. I nearly went to art school, but also realized I wouldn't enjoy it as a career. So now I'm, a, I'm in a corporate job at do commissions for fun. It's the best outlet. That's kind of the conclusion I came to. I'm like, honestly, it was a conversation I had at Disney uh, with the animation studio. Like I, they had a thing where you could talk to them and, you know, I was kind of asking like, well, what do you look for? What, you know, what, do you look for education? Blah, blah, blah. And they basically said, um, it, we just care about your portfolio. So like, you know, technically you didn't have to go to school. They didn't care. So I'm like, oh, well, I could just keep doing it and then, you know, train for another job at the same time. So it's kind of what I did and, um, definitely don't do art as my career now, but I still do it on the side. As you can see from some of these drawings here, I'll open up some, oops, what did I do? Open up some of these other ones. So we had a conversation with the kid. I don't remember how this came up. So we talked about Barfield. So it's Garfield that barfs. Ha ha. Clever. And from that, that led into Beody. Get it? Because he stinks. If you've ever had a beagle, that actually is true. They stink. And uh, Berkshire Lady, I'm off to bed now, but we'll keep this running so you get the views. I really appreciate that. That helps me so much. Uh, more so, it's, yeah, it's a tank top. Nah, just, uh, just a lot of boob. There we go. Just in, in case there's any question, see, it's really Jen. Uh, 
Oh, let me, let me find my browser here. I have so many freaking things open. <laughs> So you paint that with, without looking at a picture. Um, which which one? The Garfield? Yeah. That, well, let me think. I'm trying to remember. I think yeah, the Garfield and Odie. I I did look at some sort of reference. I couldn't remember. I did draw Garfield a lot as a kid, so I pro I may have done that mostly from memory. But Odie, I had to look up for sure. My browser's in the way. Yeah, Garfield may have been from memory. Probably not. Odie, definitely not. I think there was another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of my friends. I forgot. He came on stream. He was like, draw me like one of your French girls. So that's what he got. Um, there was another one. This. Oh, yeah. And somebody requested Scooby Doo at some point. I had to look that one up. <laughs> Sorry, Sunshine. I know it's very distracting. Close all these. And somebody was asking. I think it was after the stream last time. It was. Um. I think it was in the comments of the last stream. Uh, they were asking what program I use. So I'm using an iPad Pro. I've got the, this is the old Apple Pencil. This, I mean, this is all old. It's like the, the iPad Pro with the, the home button they don't make anymore. But I use a program called Clip Studio. I've used this for a long time. It used to be called Manga Studio. Uh, it's a Japanese company. But... Uh, it's basically it's very if you're if you're familiar with Photoshop it's it's it works very close but it's not hardly as expensive. Um, but and it's more tailored to, towards drawing. So I've I've learned to use it a little bit more and I really, uh, I really enjoy it. And if you wait, you know, if you want it, wait till Black Friday and they always go on sale dirt cheap. <laughs> yes, these are good enough to be tracings. Moogle, was that Jesus on your couch? Yeah, so yeah, that's my friend Zwar. He streams on, I know him in real life, but he streams on uh, Twitch. And uh, yeah, he gets that a lot. Like, he, I, it's funny because I've known him like since he was probably incapable of growing a beard. So it's it's still weird seeing the beard. But yeah, he looks like, uh, he looks like Jesus. <laughs> he, yeah, he makes a, he's got some jokes related to that on uh, uh, his stream. But yeah, he's got long hair and a beard. <laughs> Jen is very beautiful. Yeah, I know, see? She doesn't have an OnlyFans. But the shirt made me laugh. But let me... Got a follower. Hello on the Twitch side. <laughs> Holy crap, what? <laughs> yeah, that, so that's the joke. Jen, that doesn't that doesn't look like Jen. She has long hair. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Jim bring the OnlyFans thing. I think when I drew that, I did a news story. It was the the lady that had her OnlyFans ad on her car when she was picking up her kids at school. So that, I think that's where that came from. <laughs> yes, Jen has two very beautiful eyes. Yeah, she, she 
her 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 point of contention with the drawing were the legs. If you if you're familiar, Jen's six feet tall. Her legs are long. They don't look long in the drawing. <laughs> My mistake. Trying to make this go away. I have so much junk on my stream software <laughs> because where I do games and the news and everything. There we go. Make that go away for a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably butcher that name. Uh, Elo D. <laughs> uh, Elo Dice. Uh, thank you for the follow. As over on Twitch, I appreciate it. And for anybody that's on Twitch, I do have some sound commands and interactive things. And yeah, I do have a little bit of merch. Unlike the uh, American Riviera Orchard, I at least put a logo on some stuff. Hello, hello, hello. Give me one second here. I'm going to take a drink, and then we're going to get into some news. <laughs> Well, thanks, Marcel. I appreciate it. Oh, Leslie, you seem like a gentle soul. Uh, sure. <laughs> nah, I'm pretty chill. As long as you don't threaten the kid. <laughs> Oh, I'll talk a little bit. I've got some. <laughs> We're coming in swinging with this news, literally. Let's see if anybody's got any. Just glance at the chat one more time, make sure I haven't missed anything. So, yeah, if you're not familiar with the stream, <laughs> this is the kind of news I do. I think these are all Florida, man. I'm looking at my... T yeah, yeah, they're all they're all Florida, man. <laughs> yeah, it was me. My, my hair is not in quite that catastrophic state yet, so no, nah, it's not me. Um... You know, and I was telling a story the last stream. Um, it's funny because the Walgreens thing reminded me. Like the last really severe public freakout I saw was in a Walgreens. I uh, had stopped, and if you, I mean, almost all the Walgreens have. They seem to have the same layout. I don't know. I'm not a Walgreens expert, but you know, uh, the bathroom is like opposite of uh, where the entrance is, basically. So I went, stopped, went in, you know, I think I was going to get like some drinks and I was using the bathroom and I noticed, you know, the employee break room was there next to the bathroom and that wouldn't have mattered. But as I was in the bathroom, I heard a bunch of like commotion and like, you know, uh, yelling or something. And I just thought it was like the employees uh, goofing off. So, you know, I noticed there's a lot of like, you know, young dudes working there. So I thought, I thought they'd gone on break and they were just being silly. and. You know, uh, you you know, finish up in the bathroom and uh, wash my hands, and I walk out. And there's like freaking chaos going on. There's like people screaming, and there's like a dude uh, like ready to tackle somebody. And I'm just like, I'm looking around, like, what's going on? And there, there's a, another guy standing there. I'm like, dude, I'm like, what's going on? And uh, he's like, somebody's freaking out. And <laughs> uh, I'm like, what? so anyway, after everything calmed down, I'm just like, I was like, what the hell happened? And so what it, it, two people relayed the story to me. So what happened was somebody had bought, I don't know, random stuff, but mixed in their purchase was some ice cream. And they realized that the ice cream was expired and they lost their damn mind. And they were like screaming and throwing stuff. And like so much so they were like as far away as they could be from the bathroom. And I was in the bathroom. I could hear like all that going on. It was that loud. And I'm just like, all right, well, I'm, I'm, I just got my drinks and got the hell out <laughs> and I was, I, I was kind of just impressed at how loud they got 
I wish I had heard it outside of the bathroom because it was it it, it definitely traveled. <laughs> um anyways. <laughs> I'll get into the silly news now. Let me stick my pencil away. Yeah, spreading the word of the Lord. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the, it gets better, the reason. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, so I kind of do a little intro before I read these. That way I can cut it up into snippets. All right, hello, hello, hello. Thanks for stopping by. This is Dr. Bad Vibes, and I have some silly news. Easter may be over, but, you know, the news is still spreading. Florida man <laughs> accused of whacking Walgreens manager in face with bible on easter sunday why why not of all days why not then so this was in clearwater a florida man was arrested after he allegedly whacked a walgreens manager in the face with the bible on easter sunday uh the man was arrested and charged with felony battery after the incident that unfolded at walgreens at a walgreens uh according to an arrest affidavit from the clearwater police department so he went to Walgreens to buy a pair of headphones and got into a verbal altercation with the store employee about them. Why not? The store manager got involved and asked Owens to leave the store. That's when Owens used the brown Bible in his hand to allegedly whack her in the face before leaving the store. Like, how, how does a transaction involving headphones go this south? South of heaven. Uh, so... Police were actually able to find him after he left. He told police he hit the store manager with his Bible because, quote, she was being rude to him. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's turning the other cheek, right? Like, literally, you turn it by hitting it. You turn the other cheek by hitting that cheek so hard with the Bible, it spins it around. So he said he didn't mean to hit her. I'm sure that's true. So he was released from jail the next day after post, uh, posting $5,000 bond. But the next day, <laughs> on April 2nd, he was arrested again. He allegedly stole men's shoes and a box of Cheez-Its from Walmart. <laughs> and so somehow he was able to post a $5,000 bond, but he had to go steal ch shoes and cheeses. So anyways. <coughs> excuse me again. So it said he uh, allegedly grabbed the snack and took it into the bathroom with him before selecting a pair of shoes from a shelf and ripping the tags off them. He then tried on the shoes and put them inside a duffel bag. So he walked out of the store past all points of sale and did not pay for the items. He was stopped by a loss prevention who, who then alerted police. He was arrested and transported and he remains in custody on a $150 bond. So he must've had exactly $5,000 to get that first bond. <laughs> That's uh. That's a wild ride. I don't know how you go from Jesus to Jesus. Uh, sorry, I was reading there. I'm catching up on the chat again. <laughs> yeah, amazing way to Bible bash. <laughs> yes, he may be single. <laughs> and that is a good point. Maybe he wanted to go to jail. That's... It sounds too silly to be, <laughs> be an accident. I don't know. But uh, yeah, that's a new one on me. I've never heard of anybody being assaulted by a Bible. Let's see what else we got. Again. <laughs> so do you think people would st wouldn't stop him because he was open carrying that Bible? Yeah, I, I think he had a permit. He had a concealed Bible permit. Uh, let me refresh this. I lost the photo. There we go. Again, Florida man. Let's Florida man out in the. <laughs> it's get the the temperatures rising. So is the desire for Florida man to be seen. All right. Hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Bad Vibes. Thank you for joining me. We've got some more Florida man news. We're on a roll. So this Florida man was ticketed after eating pancakes in the middle of an intersection. 
So the International House of Pancakes is just that. There's there's no borders. It's wherever you want it to be. So a Florida man was ticketed this week for eating the most important meal of the day and arguably the worst place possible. Nice. So I'm, and the, uh, this is actually old. This is like 2017, but I found it and it made me laugh. So uh, officers with the Lakeland Police Department were notified of a man eating pancakes in the middle of the intersection. And according to the police department, quote, the caller said the subject was sitting in a chair with a small TV table in front of him, eating what appeared to be pancakes. <laughs> so, um, it was, as you could imagine, it was a prank. It was for Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Officers were able to locate the man after he was tagged in a video that later surfaced on Facebook. The pancake eater, age 21, was found in his residence, which was only about 100 yards from the intersection. Though Thomas told officers it was a prank, he was charged with placing an obstruction on the roadway and disrupting the fleet. <laughs> oh, she sells seashells. Though Thomas told officers it was a prank, he was charged with placing an obstruction in the roadway and disrupting the free flow of traffic. <laughs> I love that. The most important meal of the day in the most dangerous, worst place possible. You know, Waffle House, it has, the Waffle House has no walls. Waffle House is everywhere. We all just live in it. <laughs> if you didn't see it, I do have an older video. It's a really good uh, Waffle House story. A full-on brawl that broke out, which, you know, I'm sure everybody's shocked to see that happen in uh, <laughs> uh, a Waffle House. Let's see. Oh, hello, Tanya. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, he, he, he wanted to watch something while he ate. Some people, you know, maybe it's just the, you know, if, you, if you've lived in your city the whole life, I mean, maybe the intersection's your Walden Pond, you know, you want to, some people want to sit outside and watch nature as they eat breakfast. Some people, maybe they just want to check out traffic. I don't know. But yeah, it sounds like it was some kind of influencer prank. I'm sure it was some nonsense for clout. Keep going. We've got a couple more. They get dumber. Let's see what else we got. You know, speaking of Waffle House, I need to make a video on this. Uh, there's been a, th it's kind of a meme, but also people kind of want it to happen. Um, people are like actively like tweeting at the uh, director of Tekken 8. Uh, it's a, a newer fighting video game that came out. And uh, they want him to make a stage in in a Waffle House. And he came out on Twitter. He's like, why are people wanting this? And, I mean, if you know what goes on in a Waffle House at 3 a.m., that's that's why that needs to exist. So I, I, want, I want to I make a video on that. That's, that's pretty good. Be down for it. All right. More Florida man. This one's a gross one. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. This is Dr. Bad Vibes. I've got some news. More Florida news, of course. Thanks for joining me. So this one is in Clearwater. Um, so a Clearwater firefighter exposed himself to a high schooler in a 7-Eleven. Like, why not? So uh, this was <laughs> a, prob a probationary firefighter. He didn't make it very long. Much like what was exposed. Ha ha. So let's see here. Let me get the story up. Here, here, here's a here's a photo of went, what went down. Hopefully it didn't go up. That's pretty gross. So a probationary firefighter with the Clearwater Fire and Rescue was arrested after police said he followed an 18-year-old high school student into a local 7-Eleven and exposed himself to her. Uh, so... Age, the, the man, age 22, was fired soon after his arrest. <laughs> he worked for the department since August. So, 
uh, the, the, the chief, he says, this is a disturbing allegation and not representative of the men and w women of Clearwater Fire and Rescue. I sure hope not. I don't want, if my house is burning, I don't want you running at me with your pants down. Like you have, you don't need to bring your own water. That's why you have trucks and hydrants and quote, since he is a probationary employee, he's being terminated effective today. So he didn't make it past the, he didn't make it very far. And the police in a news release said that the disturbing incident occurred at 7-Eleven. He followed the teen into the storm while, quote, in close proximity to her, lifted the leg of his shorts to expose himself. And surveillance footage from the 7-Eleven captured the incident, showing Davis persistently following the young woman with his genitals continuously exposed seemingly waiting for her to see and acknowledge his lewd act. I mean, what did he think was going to happen? She's going to be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's the kind of fire hose I'm looking for. Yeah, I can't imagine why there's so much blurred uh, footage here. But uh, here's the actual footage. Let's pull this up on YouTube. There's no sound from what I recall. So, yeah, he's just walking around. Um, you know, like, hey, what's up? And it's, clearly she's like, nah, nah, I'm out. Or, or yeah, I guess didn't even see it yet. What's that say? It's like you're doing that and it's, it's too small to be noticed. So yeah, he's trying to get her attention. Looks like the cashier, actually, yeah, it looks like the cashier saw that and that's right when things Turned south for Mr. Firefighter. So, yeah, police said a store employee confronted Davis and he left in a vehicle. Police said they determined Davis was the flasher after a thorough investigation. <laughs> and they took him into custody Wednesday on a misdemeanor charge of exposure of sexual organs. So, yeah, that's gross. Um, you know, if you... <laughs> If you if something's on fire or a cat's in a tree, don't don't come help with your deck out, please. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I see Jen in the chat. Yeah, there uh, there was a volunteer firefighter. I mean, I don't think this is like unique to any area. Like I've heard several stories of volunteer firefighters. Like they they want to be heroes so badly, they'll actually start fires so they can go put them out. It's it's nuts. Uh, I haven't heard of many, like, yanking their dicks out to be heroes, I guess. It's like, hey, I freed this dick from its con confinement. Pen of metal on me. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. Well, that's gross. We'll move on. All right. And this is the uh, the crown jewel of what I found. Jen, Jen already knows about this one. So if the kid's around, don't let her hear. <laughs> All right. Hello, hello, hello. It's Dr. Bad Vibes. I've got some more Florida news. This one, Disney of all places. Even Disney can't get out of the news lately. A drunk Florida man beat up after making fun of a Disney World guest with Down syndrome. So much wrong there. Um, Let's just play the video. I'll, I'll just start out with that. I, I I know this story and it's just, it's nuts. And making fun of a woman with disabilities at Epcot. Oh. Orange County deputies say Brent George accused of getting drunk and making fun of a woman with disabilities at Epcot. Orange County deputies say Brent George attacked her family and that was after they confronted him. The cuts on his face are from members of the woman's family who fought back. He faces four counts of battery. <laughs> and this man here is accused of getting drunk and that was, yeah, that was a very, very brief summary. So, uh, yeah, he... he uh, Caught on camera. Wait. Seven people stranded Stop. at sea until... A so as they say, he fucked around and he found out. So, yeah, Florida man was arrested after sparking a skirmish with four guests at a Disney World result. Hold on. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting the giggles and I can't talk. A Florida man was arrested after sparking a skirmish with four guests at a Disney World resort bar that started after he made fun of a guest with Down syndrome. According to the police affidavit, um, 
So he was arrested and charged with four counts of battery after the incident unfolded at the Bellevue Lounge. And that's a bar inside Disney's Boardwalk Inn. So that's, I mean, that's a pretty out in the open place. It's, it's not like Disney of all places. Why would you be doing that? So, and also, so this man is 61 years old. He was intoxicated at the bar after downing three shots of bourbon and a beer. What a lightweight. That's not enough to, <laughs> to explain. Well, nothing explains that, but come on. Oh, wow. So, yeah, he allegedly made his way up to a table of four guests and started to make fun of a woman with Down syndrome, which is just evil. No amount of alcohol can cause that. That's just terrible. So her mother confronted George and asked him if he was making fun of her daughter. And that's when George stood up and allegedly shoved her twice. He then slapped another guest at the table in the face when she tried to intervene. So the husband of the woman who was slapped got... <clears throat> the husband of the woman who was slapped got involved and George allegedly punched him in the neck. George was then punched in the head by the husband. And an unnamed bystander grabbed George and removed him from the scene, according to deputies. So he was evaluated by medical staff for the injury sustained from being punched and then was then transported into the Orange County Jail. So this one, let me see if they've got, give me one second here. This doesn't have all the details. See if I can find. I saw this somewhere else, and there's more details. What I'm trying to find is they actually smashed a glass on. <laughs> Let's see. want to see the okay here we go i think this this has a little bit more uh description to the story let's see they punched him blah 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 so uh, yeah i guess this is after he was taken in so he allegedly told officers he did not remember anything specific due to being intoxicated he also said he was having quote a good time with the individuals and then he was attacked by them <laughs> he must have been trashed beyond belief so one of the witnesses claimed he saw an individual throw a glass cup at George and heard someone say they wanted to kill him. However, officers determined there was no broken glass found at the scene. It was believed no glass cup was utilized in the incident. Okay, so I'm mistaken on that. That's where, I guess that's where the glass talk came from. I don't know how he got so cut up, but who knows what kind of scuffle ensued from that. So, yeah. He pled not guilty to all four battery charges. And... Let's see. That's where we're at now. But, yeah, the ultimate version of fucking around and finding out. Made fun of a kid and rightful, and, and well, then assaulted people and then got the crap beat out of him. He deserves it. But stuff like this is happening more and more at Disney. Like, it's not a small world after all. It's a violent world now. There's so many fights. Of all places. But, I mean, to make fun of a kid for any reason, especially that reason, that's just, I mean, that's just evil. But <laughs> you can see here, as I was trying to find the article, like, my, oh, my, my super intelligent search, Disney World Man Beat. Look how many stories have come up. I mean, this, this keeps happening. I feel like I could almost make a whole channel about this now. But yeah, it sounds like there's conflicting versions of the story, whether he got hit with glass or not. He's definitely cut up, so it wouldn't shock me, but I also don't care if he did. He deserves it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Yeah, Sunshine, it's happening all over. I think lockdown made everybody crazy, and they can't get over it. It's so weird. And hey, shameless plug, 
if you're interested in any merch with my logo on it, uh, check the description. Uh, I got some cheap, cheaper ones on Streamlabs, and then if you're familiar with Jens, this is from Teespring, same store. Uh, I need to check out the Streamlab stuff, but I know I know the Teespring stuff's quality. I actually want, I want the hat because my hat, my actual the hat I wear all the time is so disgusting. I need a new one. But that's all the news I have for today. So I'm gonna switch back to chat. See whatever see if anybody's got anything else going on. Let's see here. Uh I'm just going through here. But yeah, it, his face definitely looks like he got cut. Okay. Yeah, I mean there's so many reasons people can't help. People have different issues going on. I mean, and some that you, you can't help. And making fun of that is just terrible. You know, don't be like that. Especially at freaking Disney. I mean, the kid was probably having the time of her life, and this guy just, like, ruined it. But then, I don't know, maybe when he got the crap beat out of him, the kid was like, yeah. Oh, let's see. So we have a little bit of time before wrestling. Anybody wants? See if I can get my. I need to. I need to get a better connection for this. Either the iPad or. Um. Part of the problem I run into when I draw on here, uh, let me show something. I need to find a way to do this. So ideally when I draw on my desktop, I have this ancient uh, tablet. I think I've literally had this thing 20 years. It's an Intuos 3, but I have the desktop version of Clip Studio, but I'm all my stuff is on my Mac. But my Mac is terrible for streaming, so I have a conundrum. So when I, when I stream, I'm in Windows, and I don't have a copy of Clip Studio. So I plug up my iPad, and the aspect ratio is all crazy. So I need, I need to fix that. Anyway, that's nerd stuff. Let's draw stuff. Let's see here. about let's throw some suggestions out who want let's draw a little what what what, uh, what do people want to see drawn oh Jennifer Newman or hey Jay just in time for the drawing. Awesome. Thanks for coming by, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, yeah, Marcel. The firefighter was asking the girl for the face cream. <laughs> he, he was having some issues. Um, excuse me, ma'am. I cannot stop oscillating. Could you direct me to the aisle with mummy's face cream? New subscriber. Thank you. YouTube subscriber, I appreciate that. Oh, that's my alert box is buried under the chat. Let me fix that. All right. Any drawing suggestions? If not, I'm tempted to draw the man eating pancakes in the street. <clears throat> or the guy at Disney getting beat up by Goofy. Oh, <laughs> gosh. That ain't nice.
goose. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they were wanting uh, Jen drawn as a goose. That's right. Let's try the goose first. Let's not make her mad. So, the, so this goose is supposed to be Jen, so let's make sure it's got long legs. There we go, how's that? <laughs> Let's make sure she's got long hair too. So. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, I like Jen's idea. Let's combine everything. Let's have, uh, I'll draw this one. Let's do, let's combine them. Let's have Goofy hitting the Pancake Man with the Bible. <laughs> Find a picture of Goofy for reference. Sweet. Hey, Jay. Hi, Jay from Liverpool, England. Awesome. We love the UK. Haven't been to, yeah, we haven't been to Liverpool. I'd like to see it. I had to think for a second. We, we took a lot of day trips. Let me, we got Jen as a goose on the screen. Geese aren't mammals, but I don't care. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we, let's do uh, Goofy hitting the Pancake Man. Get a picture. Get my Goofy reference up here. <laughs> Don't draw the Disney characters much. Trying to make for my best to draw here. I've got my tablet at a very uh, awkward angle. I keep forgetting I need to I need to get some music on here so when I draw it's not silent, silent and awkward. But hey, that's why that's why this stream is in its early stages. We it's, we, we learn there's uh, a lot of stuff I'm trying to add. I just haven't had time yet. I want to make the chat room a little more interactive. It's got a little bit more going on Twitch right now, but where everybody watches on YouTube, I need to get YouTube a little more involved. There's just not much uh, software that does that, but I, I did find some. Actually, i got to give a shout-out to my buddy Zwar on Twitch. He, uh, he's in the same boat and he found something that works across both platforms. So no, I like to have my keyboard hooked up as well so I can have an undo command. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, 
ASMR. Yeah, I need to get some music on here. Actually, one of the one of my favorite YouTubers currently is Meat Canyon slash Papa Meat, and oops, uh, he actually he streams himself basically just working on his cartoons. But uh, where it's on Twitch, can't do this on YouTube. He he just plays his normal Spotify playlist on Twitch, which is cool because we have a similar taste in music. very awkward normally i'd have this in my lap uh such are you drawing with the stylus yeah i'm so i'm using an ipad i've got an apple uh an apple pencil this is the the old version and normally when i want to be more precise i have a uh this is my preferred way like i i, I use my desktop computer and i have a uh uh I don't know how you say it. Wacom Wacom. It's the Intuos 3, which is like 20 years old at this point. I've got a a, a screenless tablet that I plug up. Uh, and I use the same program. It's just the desktop one. Yeah, maybe I can maybe I can make shorts out of these and uh Speed them up. I have the drawing. <laughs> Speed drawing. I'm going to go super detailed. <laughs> yeah, let's make sure this is uh, <laughs> DEI certified. Actually, if he's going to be hitting somebody, that would make it a hate crime, so let's not do that. <laughs> Gorsh. I actually like the old goofy shorts. Like where he's learning to drive and not have road rage. Those are pretty funny. That's the other thing too, when you draw on the iPad, you uh, sacrifice a lot of screen real estate. <laughs> oh, thanks. Yeah, I've got a fairly steady hand as long as I'm not too caffeinated. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it, it's hard to, it's actually kind of hard to do straight lines on this. Unless you got it at the right, I guess the, having it at the right angle helps. Uh, I have a, uh, I think I've installed a brush too that kind of helps steady everything. Oh yeah. Disney characters only have four fingers, so. <laughs> let's make it, let's make it accurate. Bob Ross would be proud. Yeah, I need an afro. Where? Yeah, he's got like a vest or something, doesn't he?
Thank you. Thank you for <laughs> enjoying my silent drawing. Gotta remember, gotta get music set up so it's a little less awkwardly silent. Oh yeah. Make it clear to the holy bibble. You can kind of see the cross. Draw guy. Oh, I should make it the old man. Little cuts and stuff on him. I was just trying to eat pancakes. Spork. Spork's flying away. his pancakes on his TV tray in the, in the road. <laughs> Gorse, don't eat your pancakes in the street. <laughs> All right. I think that's good. <laughs> so I've, got, I've gone a little bit over. Uh, we're going to watch WrestleMania. So I hope everybody had fun. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks for the compliments. Uh, normally, I stream longer. You may have heard on Jen's channel. We're going to watch WrestleMania because we're adults. But uh, I hear them getting ready. So I'm going to check that out. Um, switch over. <clears throat> Real quick. Let's see if my... Give me one second. I'll turn my widget on. I haven't done this in a while. Where are my credits? I'm gonna give everybody a shout out for subscribing and following. Here we go. I think they're on. Maybe. <laughs> Roll my credits. Where are they at? There they go. All right, I want to thanks to everybody that followed and subscribed. So we've got a follower on Twitch. Hello, Dieck, that I probably butchered. And subs, we've got Spirit Matter, KDG, Scarlet Still, Your Bijou, and Tabitha H. Thanks for all the subs. Um, every subscriber means a lot. That helps me. Every view gets us closer to being monetized and making this a, a legitimate channel. <laughs> Let's see. So yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, is the Undertaker still alive? He actually is. I think he's like he has like a podcast and does like stand up now. Like it's so strange. Like he he's dropped the character. He's just Mark Calloway now. But uh, thank you everybody. I'm going to end this stream. And uh, if you if you would like to subscribe and catch the next ones or. Uh, just catch the highlights. I post highlights of all the news and the drawing and everything. Uh, got some from the last stream coming up. But thank you, everybody. And hope to see you next time. Bye. Actually, real quick before I go. Uh,
Oh, well. Yeah, real quick before I go, I'm going to see if any of my friends are streaming on Twitch. I'm going to send them a raid. Don't think anybody's on. Yeah, I don't have anybody on. All right, anyway, so hey, thank you, everybody. I'm going to cut it.